Over the last four seasons, Anderson was TCU basketball. He was the glue for a program that was experiencing a monumental shift in the college basketball landscape. Which brings us right here to the Wilkerson Greatness Activity Center, the temporary home for TCU basketball during Kean Anderson's senior season. Moving to the hardwood now, the TCU men's basketball team finally got the monkey off their back by knocking off a ranked opponent this weekend. The price tag for the newly renovated Daniel Meyer Coliseum has now surpassed $72 million, which will make it one of the nicest facilities in the Big 12 next season. Coming off a season in which the Frogs won their first ever Big 12 championship, TCU now focuses their attention to the 2015 campaign. Moving facilities was just one obstacle that Anderson faced during his time as a Horned Frog. His game never skipped a beat as the program moved from the Mountain West into the Big 12 Conference and hired a completely new coaching staff. Nearly two-thirds of the way through the season, the Frogs are buckling down for another late season surge that the team hopes will end in a trip to Omaha. There was just something about him that you knew that not only was he going to be a really good basketball player, but he was also going to be a winner. He's going to go down as one of the great players in TCU history. And I think his legacy is written, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think, he, I think he goes down as one of the greats. It took just 12 games for Kean Anderson to enter the starting lineup at TCU. He would remain a starter for the next 118 consecutive games, setting a new TCU career record. Over the last four seasons, Anderson was TCU basketball. He was the glue for a program that was experiencing a monumental shift in the college basketball landscape. Anderson's basketball career really took off right here at North Crowley High School, just seven miles from the TCU campus. Kean was probably the most prolific winner that we've ever had here. When you talk about a state championship, his freshman year, and then three straight regional tournaments, no team he was on ever lost a home basketball game while he was here. No team that he was on ever lost a district basketball game while he was here. I mean, the kid just won. Kean Anderson is one of Fort Worth's own. After he finished at North Crowley, he chose to attend TCU over some larger and more tradition-rich programs such as Providence, USC, and Virginia. For Kean, it was all about representing Fort Worth, staying close to home, and getting to play in front of his friends and family. That's the whole reason why I came and, and made my decision to come and stay here. You know, families right down the street, friends, and, and, and uh, can come out to every game they want to and things like that. And so just to, to put the school on my back and actually make it, you know, cool to play basketball at TCU again. Anderson was truly an all-around college basketball player. He finished his career in the top 10 in 13 different offensive categories at TCU, including points and assists. He takes more pride in setting someone else up than he does in, in, in knocking down a three. He doesn't smile much on the floor. You know, the expression doesn't change. But when he set a guy up, you could tell in his body language that he was proud of what he just did. And I think that says a lot about his game. I just love to play the game. I love to win. I'm a competitor. And you know, sometimes I just want, you know, better opportunities for, you know, teammates rather than myself at times. Anderson's name will forever be linked to TCU basketball history, just like how the TCU community will always remain close to his heart. But just the community itself, you know, the TCU community has been, you know, positive with me and my family. For Frogs of War on SB Nation, I'm Andrew Feltz.
Hello, I'm Andrew Feltz, and this is your TCU Sports Report. The TCU baseball team opened up their 2015 campaign with a sweep of the Southern Illinois Salukis this weekend. After beating SIU 5-0 and 16-4 to begin the series, Alex Young pitched a dominant game on Sunday to complete the sweep. Young pitched six scoreless innings, allowing only five base runners while striking out four. Offensively, a big third inning propelled TCU to victory. The Frogs sent 12 into the plate and scored seven runs in the frame to give TCU an early 10-0 lead. The Frogs return to the Diamond this Tuesday to face the UT Arlington Mavericks. First pitch is scheduled for 6.30 p.m. right here at Lumpton City. Moving to the hardwood now, the TCU men's basketball team finally got the monkey off their back by knocking off a ranked opponent this weekend. The Frogs hosted the 21st ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys on Saturday. TCU took command of the game in the second half, eventually prevailing 70-55. Four Frogs scored in double figures, with Keen Anderson leading the way with 14 points. The win improves TCU to 15-10 overall and 2-10 in Big 12 play. The Frogs will look to start their first ever Big 12 winning streak as they host the Kansas State Wildcats at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Finally, over on the women's side of things, TCU knocked off Kansas 73-67 on Tuesday night. The win improved TCU to 15-10 overall and 7-7 in conference play. Against the Jayhawks, Zayna Medley led the way with 19 points and 5 assists. A big test for the Frogs coming up on Saturday as TCU travels down to Waco to face the number 2 Baylor Bears at 7 p.m. That's it for today's TCU Sports Report. I'm Andrew Belts.